heavy periods that cause anemia solved without birth control. If this were my teenager and she'd been on birth control for a while, I have heard that it could be kind of weird to get off of birth control. And so I would look at getting a professional homeopath to really help manage adding in the homeopathy and then making sure we understand what's going on as we're getting off the birth control. But if I felt like I had an understanding of what was going on, then I would look at going to some homeopathic remedies that are listed in protocols around heavy bleeding. The protocol for this is sepia 200 given every other day. Again, if this was my teenager, I would probably give sepia 200 one time and then see what the effects are over the next menstrual cycle. One dose might be enough for the body to be like, hey, we, oh yeah, we've got a problem, let's work on this. If there is any improvement in that menstrual cycle, then I would say, oh, this is great. So I would probably hold off. I might take another dose to see if it affects the next menstrual cycle. But again, that might be all she needs. If I didn't see a big change, then I might start doing the protocol, which is the every other day. For the anemia part, there are cell salts called ferrum Foss 3X and Cali Mer 3X that I would give two tablets of each, once in the morning and once in the evening. And I would do that until the anemia resolves. If there was a lot of clotting in the bleeding, I would look at giving Sabina 30C as well, just that one dose to see how it might affect the next menstrual cycle. I would also look at joining this Facebook group which has an introductory on homeopathy and has a pretty large uh, case load of people who have been on these protocols or homeopaths who have commented on the condition to say this is what they would try. Another resource I would check out is Dr. Homeo. I'd Google Dr. Homeo heavy bleeding. I would read all of the remedy and the symptom descriptions. I'd find the one that matches my daughter the closest, and then I would give that one dose and wait the menstrual cycle to see what the result is. So I hope to see you over in that other group. If not, follow for more homeopathy tips.